to IT and Automation Academy. I am really sorry for the delay of the YouTube videos that has been so long that we are not able to come online properly from IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. The reason behind delays on videos was that I was out of the country from UAE to Saudi Arabia for a personal trip and then later on I had to deliver one training on, in Dubai on SCADA systems. So my routine was so busy that I was not able to make YouTube videos but I'm here again with new video on SCADA client and server architecture. In SCADA client and auto server architecture we are going to create server station and then client station. What is the concept behind that and what is the reason of creating that one and what exactly this concept and where exactly is going to be applied. That's really important to know before getting into the detail of the project. Server will be our main station. We are going to create tags on the server and we are going to design the screen for it and we are going to write some script on the server station of the SCADA. But later on, you are going to get that tax by doing the synchronization process in the client. In this way, we are getting tax copies in there in the client station. Now, for example, tag 1 and tag 2 and tag 3, you can see here, these are linked with some process variables, for example, temperature, level, flow. It can be, you know, any commands, like it can be any set value. So for example, they, these are all set values for different flows, so if in the case you are changing the value from the server station, the values will be automatically changed in the client station also. Because you have synchronized the tags and you have same tags now accessed in server and client station. It would be more clear when we are going to perform this practically. Let's look how it's going to be practical. As we discussed, first step is to create server station. We will go to the new project. Let's make a new folder so that everything will become easy for us. So it will be SCADA. And server. That's fine. Now we are going to ta create three tags as discussed. Tag 1, tag 2, and tag 3. The next step is create screen. Text box and then we have cages copy paste So we have now three cages from server station. We are going to link the tags to these cages. This will be to input the value of tag 1. This one will be to display the value of tag 1. This will be to input the value of tag 1. Sorry, tag 2. and this will be to display the value of tag 2 same here for tag 3 and here for tag 3 also You 
can apply the visitors and all that concept that we studied all before to make the things more clear. But I'm not going to apply too much things here. is how that look like now at the moment the screen of server station so now we are going to go to the control panel and we will go client and server here server enabled remote connections I will give an access to it and the IP address that we are going to use it will be 1712 127.0.0.1 and the port number will be this one. We start and enable. Now this your service station is almost ready. We are gonna just check it out. creating the, the project for the service station now we are going to open another instance of the winter this will be to create scatter client I'm really sorry because today I'm not feeling well. That's why my voice is not proper. I'll create client. And then after that I will go to the control panel. Server and client. Client only. And then we can select, you know, connect from here because we are connecting to the IP address. You remember the IP address we mentioned there in server was the same 127.0.0.1 and the TCP IP port was exactly the same. So we, we I'm going to connect it here to that server station. If I will see any tags here, that means our tags are not already accessible in client station. I'm just gonna click on client from here I'm just gonna connect from here just click connect you see the tags we created there all the tags are now you can see here they are available here right after that you can click tag synchronization and you can add these tags in the client so you will just click like this these tags are now synchronized with your client station so you can access these tags from server station you can play with it how you can give an access like you you're giving read only option write only read and write read only will be in, in the, like if in the case client will change something you can read it here and you but in read only you cannot write anything you cannot input anything that for example tag on you given a value it will not be replicated to the server station because you have mentioned or you have given access only read only so depending on your requirement you're gonna choose read only read and write or write only here I'm gonna use read and write both so after doing this one, you will just click tag synchronization, now the tags are synchronized. And after that you can go to the connection manager. You can see these tags are already there. You can make these tags periodic. By doing that you will get periodic 
say we are done with that stuff so next step is to go to the screen and design a very good screen for the client I'm not gonna make very colorful screen for this one because our main concern is to get to know how to do client server communi communication and how we can access the tax from a client station to the service stations so I'm just putting three text box and gauges so we are done with that thing next thing is now to associate the tax You can see we will have a tag here, tag one. Tag one and here tag two. How long is tag two? In tag three, we are done with this. Now we, I'm going to run this client side of the SCADA. Yeah, if in the case, if you want to run SQL tag building, press yes. Yes, I want to run the SQL tag building to get that tags in SQL yes so I will click yes now I'm gonna run this screen and this is our server station you can see some values we are getting already from client uh, sorry from the server to the client now in the case I want to show you the screen that was we were and we have designed this screen for server so I will just open two screen at the same time so that we can see if in the case we will change some values it is gonna be replicated there to client automatically for example if I will change to 77 this one it's not only changed in server but it will be replicated to the client also see the value 77 is immediately written here we have 66 yeah now if in the case I will change the value from here 88 the value is changed there also same is the case 66 the value is changed there but in the case if you just configure read only in that case you cannot change the values from here you can only read the values from the server station or if in the case you just configure read only then you're gonna you're not able to write and if in the case you configure write only then you cannot get updated values from the server stations so based on your requirement you're gonna select what writes you need for the server and client. Thank you for watching this video and I hope so you like it. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos on PLC, DCS and SCADA, all you have to do is just to subscribe this channel.